Game, Shieldsy, so yeah. forget about that little 10 minute period, can we please? So forgetting about that 10 minute period, was it oh, as good? Yeah. Listen, we just we just dropped off a touch energy levels and I think their goal, their first goal's come out of nothing from, from our point of view. Um, we can analyse it, which we will do. Um, but uh, obviously the old 2-0 is a dangerous scoreline quickly change from 2 nils a dangerous scoreline to oops we're 3 2 down um, and you got to give them credit um, just as much as we fought our way back in the, in at the death to, to get ourselves some out of the game they were risking they were chancing you know Harry Maguire I think he's played his touch map will show tonight he, he was on the left wing for, for, for 25 minutes of the second half so they had to do something to get back in the game and and you just saw, just saw well close up obviously from my point of view that he just switched the light when uh, when uh, they got back into it 2-1 and um, uh, we're not talking no disrespect to, to the standard that we've been at we're talking James, Marshall uh, Rashford and uh, and Jesse Lingard and uh, when they say yes which they did uh, for 10 minutes obviously you know the the uh, the momentum and the, the scoreline dramatically changed. To, to come back though, I mean, a lot of teams to go 3 2 down having played like that, it would probably psychologically crush them. So to come back again. Yeah, I mean, really... we've talked about it, you know, the uh, the disappointment of, of uh, Tottenham Hotspur two weeks ago, the, you know, the disallowed disallowed goal uh, for John Lundstrom's big right toe. Um, and then to not, you know, um, disappointment, obviously the, f- the first goal at Spurs, and they've got you know what they like. They've got they, they've got they've got enough about them. You know, we're, we're going to come in the front door, and we're going to go out the front door, and uh, and I, I think it's a. It, I would have been disapp- really disappointed for the players and everybody if we'd have not got anything from this game because uh, obviously ultimately it's the scoreline that counts. But for the majority of the time, you know, we were. We, we, we were right up there in terms of the performance levels well, I was going to say because very often people talk about sort of desire and heart and you you see all that but for 71 minutes and then after that you were superior in other departments as well, well just which... cruel, cruel blow like in which you have to take on the chin and you have to you have to you know as I said we, we, we have to look at ourselves and as I said we just dropped a little bit of energy and uh, and then all of a sudden you know the, the pace of how they play and the forward runs and the interplay which our, our boys have been great, great with, you know. I thought Jags was was outstanding just to come out of nowhere and produce a performance like that. And Simon really has not had much to do as well. And then it's over to us, isn't it? What do we have to do now to get back in the game? And then we made a, we made a couple of changes, and I thought our shape pushed them back. And uh, then they looked the vulnerable ones. Then and uh, I, I did. I, I saw an equaliser come in, and uh, and obviously. Yet again, we have to go through the pain of um, of, 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 of VAR, uh, idiot manager, um, running down the touchline and somebody tapping me on the shoulder and saying this might be called uh, ruled out. Didn't get on too well, so I hid in the dugout for about four or five minutes. How long it took? Um, thankfully, made the right decision. Um, it's it's a difficult one for for myself and, and people have been in the game this long. You know, I've been in the game since I was sixteen as a kid. Now I'm 52, and the emotion. I mean, I didn't score many goals anyway, so it makes no odds. So, uh, but the emotion being involved when you score a goal, and then that to take away, it's it's, it's, a, it's a real difficult one to to handle. But thankfully, um, it uh, uh, it didn't hurt us, and um, and then we have a decision to shut up shop or go for it. And uh, I should imagine you know what uh, what I what I said to nearly sit down. You big ginger lad, and uh, we, we're going to go for this. Um, and uh, delighted that, as I said, we got something from the game. How was Lee, by the way? Yeah, he's all right. He was a, you know, that's uh, he's going to have a, a, a check and a scan. I think that played. You know, he was outstanding for us at Spurs, as you saw. And when they're taking that many chances and leaving one versus one Lindelof against Lee's move set, you know, I, I think if it had been on the pitch, then might, we might have got a little bit of joy. Um, but saying that, you know, that's how, how it is. You know, you, you you lose players. You have to make substitutions. Um, and delight for Ollie to score as well because he's, you know, he's still a young player, learning his trade. Um, come out of the championship. That's where we, where our market is. It's not anywhere near any of the any of the top clubs or even the middle clubs. 
or even the bottom clubs. That's where we, we go and get our players from. And these young boys are learning the trade, Callum Robinson and, uh, and, and Ollie. So for Ollie to, to get an equaliser for us was, was, was great for him. Chris, United have switched to a back three against Liverpool and Chelsea this season and now yourselves. I just wonder what you make of that in terms of the level of respect that that, I think, shows. Yeah, um, um, I mean, I, I, I don't think they would have done if, if, if uh, Scott McTominay was playing, obviously, because he's, he's be, become a real big player for, for Manchester United. So, uh, yeah, you know, they, have, they compromise their, their, their shape to, to play against us. Um, and, uh, and we have to try and exploit it and I thought we did in the middle of the park I thought R4 when McGoldrick came and played against their two caused them problems but always looking at the top of the pitch one ball Martial one ball Rashford one ball Dan James but I thought the back three really were brave and stepped into into those players and didn't really give them much uh, opportunities first half and even for, for even for second half we felt we felt comfortable um, I don't think it was us Sitting back, I just think that you know sometimes you have to you have to accept that people are going to take chances just as much as we did in the last five minutes. That Man United are going to take chances on you, and they did. Um, emotionally, Chris, where do you feel at the end of a game like that? I'm all right. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm fine. I, I, you know, I'd have been I think you know, majorly disappointed if we'd not got some out of the game. Um, you know, you always look for your side to play well, and we've played consistently well. The attitude of the team's great. I think you know, I was listening to Graham soon as before in his. Uh, and his pre-game uh, build-up, and he was talking about promoted sides and their attitude. And I think you've sh- we've shown today what our attitude's been like all season, home and away. We're going to get pushed back, but we're going to go and try and score and set the game to the opposition. And and sometimes, you know, from an emotion point of view, you just got to, you just got to accept this might happen because of the standard and quality that that you you're up against. Any more? All good. Thanks, gentlemen. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers.